This is the Flux Olympiad at the Turbine Hall here at the Tate Modern Gallery. My name is Tom Rosati, artist who specializes in the intersection between sports and art. The Flux Olympiad was first conceived of by George Macunius in the 1960s, but never realized. So it's a series of games, team games, races, that all have been created by Fluxus artists, and all trying to in some way inverts or subverts the traditional notion of a competitive sporting event. So whether it's the stilt soccer events where uh, contestants are asked to attempt an almost impossible goal of playing soccer on stilts, <laughs> and other more fun sort of absurdist events that are in sync with the Fluxus performances, like the team loop race where everyone has to act like a tread in a bulldozer, the flipper race where people run down the track with flippers on. All of these events uh, end up having a comical presence that plays with the performative aspects of sports because sports are not just games and competition, they are visual spectacles where people act a certain way and in the Olympics or any serious sporting events you are going to see a traditional way in which athletes, referees, announcers behave and the silly sports for lack of a better term uh, play around with that and, and, and turn it on its head. Looking at this museum here today and watching all these kids run around it's really hard to visualize and think about the art world in the 60s, but it was a totally different place with rules, regulations, in terms of what could be shown, what was art, the traditional uh, schools of art, um, very formalist and tight thinking. So Fluxus decided they were gonna break all those boundaries, thought that it was ridiculous. Art creation that did not take into account all these restrictive elements. So they did their best to break all of those. Um, and as you can see, they started a trend which has now been institutionalized, which is really fascinating, that the ideas that they put forward are almost obvious and I don't want to say cliche, but they've been ingrained so much into the culture of artistic production that everyone kind of takes them for granted. So it's really interesting to see it being put forward again and recognizing these artists as um, being the forerunners of a modern art museum where kids are hitting balloons around and throwing paper airplanes and not having classical sculpture. So I think that's at least why, that's why I am really excited about this and why I really like Fluxus.